Hi everyone, I'm Susan Mulvihill. Boy, you are not used to seeing me in long sleeves, are you? But here we are, it is late September, it's definitely fall, and we have even gotten a light frost. Fortunately, it did minimal damage to the garden, so that's good, but I know the end of the season is getting very close. I get a lot of questions asking about when to harvest winter squash and pumpkins. So I'm going to talk with you about that today. But I'm also going to share a tip so that you cure them before you put them into storage and that way they will last even longer than you thought possible. I'm going to start out with this pumpkin right here because it's easy to see. The first thing I do is the thumbnail test. And what that involves is just pressing your thumbnail into the skin of the pumpkin or the winter squash to see if that nail cuts through the skin. If it does, that means it is not mature. You want to just let it keep growing. But if it doesn't, that means that it's ripe. Now the second thing that I look at also is the color of the stem that attaches to the vine you'll notice that this is quite a golden color and that's a good sign of maturity too. All season long it was a dark green. So when I harvest them what I do is I leave a couple of inches of stem on the top of the pumpkin or winter squash because if I accidentally either knock this stem off or I cut it off this area is more open to rotting and you certainly don't want that. So here's the first one that I'm harvesting. Okay, this is a butternut squash and it's got a nice golden color which is a good sign. When I press my thumbnail it does not cut through that skin. And also notice how it has a golden stem. So again I'm going to leave as much stem on as possible. So this next winter squash is called a kusha. I've never grown it before. Look at these interesting stripes. Now when I press my thumbnail in there with all my might, I cannot cut through that skin. So it's telling me it's ripe. But of course, look at this. I've got a green stem and I'm just going to go with the thumbnail test and say it is ripe. Now this pumpkin is not ripe, which is really frustrating. I've never grown this variety before. It's called red warty thing, which is kind of funny. And even though it has a golden stem, I really consider the thumbnail test to be the gold standard for ripeness. And when I press my thumbnail into here, it goes right through the skin. So my best bet is just to leave them out here, hope that they will ripen before we get a frost and then we can enjoy them. Fortunately, I only have two or three of these and I was really just growing them for ornamental purposes. So it won't be the end of the world if they don't make it by frost, but I'm hoping they do. Okay, I have harvested everything. I have a nice mix of things. So here again is the kusha. I've got some sugar pumpkins. That's for making pies. We've got a fair amount of butternut squash. And these little striped guys are delicatas. These ones I've never grown before. They're an English or custard type of a squash. And I have no idea how tasty they are, but I have high hopes for them. So now let me show you what I do to cure them so they will last a long time in storage. Of 
Once you've harvested your winter squash and pumpkins, it's important to put them through a two-week curing process. What that means is putting them somewhere that is warm, light, and protected from the weather because you don't want these to get frosted now. So I'm using our small unheated greenhouse, but you could use a sunny porch or somewhere that is protected. So I'm just going to set them on some newspaper, leave them here for two weeks, and then I'll put them into long-term storage. In my case, that's our basement because it's cool and dark. You could use a closet. There are all kinds of areas where you could store your winter squash and pumpkins. So now you know how to harvest them and to cure them. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.